What's going on guys, EJ from The Daily Shape. In today's episode, we're gonna be covering my top splashes and bombs for 2016. I'm not gonna to get too much into the price point with all these items, because I've got a lot to cover. So you can just look it up online and you can just find it, you know, price per ounce. You know, just do your research. I'm pretty sure you can also find some on sale, also on um, sale and trade pages for wet shaving. You can, you can find a couple of things that are, aren't available that are in my list. So we're just gonna kick it off with the bombs because I only have just a top three I have some bombs, but just not that many to usually have top five. So for my three biggest hitters for third place, it would be PAA. After Shape Bombs, these are really great. I love CAD, classic barbershop, as always for me, barbershop aromas. Great stuff, you know, makes my skin feel very smooth. And I, what I like about these two is that they stick around, even though they're bombs. So that is my third place for my bombs. Second place is going to be none other than Soap Commander. Honor, another barbershop. I love their aftershave bombs because all of them have menthol, so you get a nice cooling effect and your skin feels nice and hydrated after you're done using these. So, And these don't stick around as much as the PAA, but I still love Soap Commander no matter what. And then just for my number one is Parazzo Anti-Irritation. I don't have sensitive skin, but for some reason I always feel myself reaching for this particular aftershave bomb. Follow me on Instagram. Nine times out of ten, I always have this bomb with me on most of my shaves, and it just feels great. You know, scent profile, it's, I mean, to me, it doesn't really smell like anything, so I mean, it just works out just to go with any aftershave splash following up with that. But Parazzo, very inexpensive, you can find it anywhere online. I, mean, I picked this one up at the Old Town Shaving, but so good stuff. So now we're gonna get into the aftershave splashes. Mind you, there are a ton of brands out there that are great and you know, but these are things that just really stick out for me in my den. That does not mean just because, you know, your guys' brand or for say is not on my list doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's just, these are just things that just work for me. But everyone's entitled to their opinion and I hope you can just respect mine as I always respect yours. But without further ado, let's get down to the top after shave splashes of 2016. So for my fifth runner up is Captain's Choice Cat 09 Tails. This stuff, I mean, this is like bay rum to the umpteenth level because this right here, when you slap it on your face, there's no safety word. If this bottle can tell you it, it wouldn't because it wouldn't care to tell you the safety word. It burns like crazy, but it just smells and feels so good right after. It's just like a big slap of relief, nice warming and then burning sensation. But Captain's Choice, I mean, this right here, this this was like one of my very first aftershave splashes that I complimented with my Colonel Conk Bay Rum Soap and I, I love this stuff. It's really great. <clears throat> Fourth place is Katie's Bubbles. This is the post shave toner. Actually, no, tonic, sorry. I only have LPV and LMR in terms of uh, scent profiles for these ones. I know they ran out of the LMR. I know they have LPV, but this stuff, the tonic, it's witch hazel basil. You don't really get that much of a sting, but I mean, I just gotta say, just for the aroma, for the LMR, it's very fresh and aquatic, and it just smells really sweet, but it's really good stuff. And it comes in a really small bottle compared to some aftershave splashes, but a little goes a long way with this stuff, because this stuff will stick around for hours. As I can say for the uh, uh, Captain's Choice, it doesn't stick around as much as it should. Now, for third place is Bear Stern Man, uh, Man Reserve, classic. This stuff is, you know, classic barbershop aroma. This I have this and the blue aftershave splash. This stuff is great. I mean, it just has this top classic powdery note with it. It's just reminiscent of old barbershops. It has the patent for the safety razor, beautiful packaging. You can find this at BearStearnMan.com on the reserve site. It's just great stuff. This is a little more on the top shelf stuff. So, I mean, it is, like I said, with Barrister Man and my soaps, you know, it is pricey, but at the same time, a little goes along with it, with this stuff and it does stick around for a very long time. And just overall, um, even though this was, you know, new to the scene for last year, I just, this stuff is really great. I personally, my top one has been the blue aroma, but I always find myself too reaching for the classic just to go with like a nice, you know, just classic scent all around. And I have, for second place, I have two brands, but of the same person, PAA and Crown King, aftershave uh, splashes and cologne, so it's like a two-in-one. These here are very inexpensive as well. You know, they're very reasonably priced. Um, I have an assortment of each of these aromas, so it's just, it's great. You know, Douglas Smythe, you know, I love his products, you know, he's a really great guy and I've talked to him from time to time. 
and you know I'll be meeting all these people down in the Big Shave West 3 coming in April but for PAA and Crown King I mean I do have a lot of their aromas you know it's great stuff this is what I really enjoy and they stick around for a very long time because they are colognes too so you know just go ahead after you're done shaving you just give it a good splash wherever you just freshly shave and they feel great some may sting more than others i know the arctic bay rum with lime that right there is kind of close to cat on nine tails in terms of the burn scale but overall just a great experience for these two after shave splashes before i get to my number one however i just got three honorable mentions so for my honorable mention number three is going to be Havana from Barberry Coast. This is brand new. I didn't get that, get this, sorry, not too long ago in terms of last year, but I love the way this felt. This, the aroma, it's tobacco, but it was very subtle with cocoa. And when you splash it on, it did not burn whatsoever. I mean, not saying that burn is a bad thing, but overall, I was very impressed with this aftershave splash. It's a little pricey as well for four ounces, but at the same time, I just really wanted to take the dive and trying out this this line of, of Barbary Coast. I need to try out the Bay Rum, that's the next thing I wanna get. But other than that though, it is an honorable mention in my den. So Havana, this is the one that I have so far. For my second runner up is the Holy Black Shave Tonic. This right here is the Galleon Aroma, very fresh. It smells like, you know, kind of like the ocean, like a little powdery note. Great stuff. It, for a tonic, it does have a good kick to it. It stings a little bit, but not too much. It sticks around for a while, but at the same time, this just got a little overshadowed with other stuff in my den. But other than that though, Holy Black is making a name for itself in terms of the wet shaving community. I know they just released a Chevette, uh, Chevette razor that's very similar to the Crown Kings. So they're getting there and I know they're gonna release a lavender soap as well. I believe it's called Lavender Smoke. So we gotta look out for that if you guys are interested for um, Holy Black soaps. And my first honorable mention is Small Batch Shave Tonic Winter Reserve. This one is from the Derby City Chop Shop. Great packaging, I love the way it looks. It just, it looks fabulous, it looks amazing. You know, it looks kind of like the Maker's Mark bottle and they actually use real bourbon with their after shave splashes. And the aroma for Bay Rum, it's just very unique. It's, it's how can I explain it? It's like cool and icy, but it has a nice spicy kick to it. Um, they only release these once out of the year, around November, but sometimes if you're lucky they also make a second batch. I happen to get batch number 58 out of the 78 that they made. The only downside I just had with this is that it just does not stick around for a while. That's the only bane that this thing had. As, much, as beautiful as it looks and as great as it smells, the, only, the biggest Achilles heel for this aftershave splash, tonic, sorry, is that it does not last long. But at the same time, I just, the bottle, it just, it looks amazing. Just look at that. Look at just the detail that they make, you know, it has like that little wax, you know, feel. Like I said, the maker's mark and it has like a little DE blade insignia right here. So that is my number one honorable mention. Now for my top aftershave splash 2016 is none other than fine American blend. This stuff is just amazing. I know they don't have this packaging anymore due to a patent issue. So just the newer one just has American blend with just like a red stripe around the ring right here. But this stuff, I mean, as you can see, I've been using it a lot, even when I don't shave. If I'm done after the shower, sometimes I just use it as an after bath and it, it just smells amazing. It's just, man, I mean, this stuff, you can't go wrong. I mean, if I can recommend a fine aftershave splash, it'd be, Amer it'd be American blend. I do have the Italian citrus and I do have the fresh vetiver, but I mean, American blend. No, no questions at all. American blend. You have to get American blend. This stuff is great. I also have the matching soap to go with it too, but this is the one that I reached for throughout the entire year of 2016. This stuff is just amazing. I also bought some from my father-in-law too. And he loves it. So, Mr. Fine, American plan. No questions. So, that pretty much wraps up, you know, the top aftershave splashes and bombs for 2016. You know, if anyone wants to leave any, you know, comments down below saying what their, you know, top five are, by all means, please go ahead, you know, share. I just want to see how your guys' experience was with your aftershave uh, splashes. And if some that are mine that are on your list too, please, you know, share your experience with that as well. So, like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel.